What is good, everybody? Today we are reviewing the WWE Mattel Knuckle Cruncher Series 1 figures. Now, these are very interesting, and this is probably going to be a different video. I mean, I don't think I've ever reviewed many figures like this. We may have done some things in the past, but these were pretty intriguing to me. I thought these looked pretty cool, and I figured they'd make for a cool video here on the channel. We have the Knuckle Crunchers. Here is the full wave. We have Seth Rollins. Apparently, he comes with a steel chair. We have Roman Reigns over here, the Tribal Chief. We also have the Goat himself. We have John. Cena. And then the last figure we have is going to be the final boss. We have The Rock without the damn Brahma Bull tattoo, which I think is such a sham. Such a sham. He includes a guardrail. John Cena includes a trash can. And Roman Reigns includes a kendo stick with a stand for the kendo stick. But taking a look at the back of the packagings, we do get just an action shot on all of them, which is pretty cool. But I found these to be pretty entertaining. And I think these were revealed at San Diego Comic Con back in 2023 in the summertime. And I was there and I remember seeing these and thinking they were pretty cool but I think that we're in for a pretty exciting little wave of figures man we're gonna box all of them we're gonna take a closer look at all of them and just check them out man but I'm in I'm, I'm excited here today I'm excited to see what these look like but we're not gonna put them on the rotating stand I'm just gonna remove them from their packaging and then we'll go one by one through each figure showcase their articulation and just get into the entire wave man so with that being said let's crack our knuckle crunchers out of the packaging and find out what these little sons of bitches are all about so here's the full wave out of the packaging, and I actually am pretty, I don't know, man, I'm having a lot of fun with these. I think they're pretty cool. Now, are they perfect? Hell no. That reminded me of that fast food video where the guy pulls up to the drive-thru, and they're like, would you like to order the so-and-so special today, or would you like to try the Jamocha shake today? And he's like, hell no. I don't know. That made me think of it. But let's start left to right, man. Let's start off with The Rock. And for The Rock, let's get into the accessories first. He does come with these little guardrails, and these little guardrails are pretty nice. They're a metallic silver color, and they do break away, so you can break them over somebody's head. And I like the scale and size of these, you know? You know, it's tough when you don't have a ton of accessories with things like this right like you know they scale well they go up in front of a figure like that but when you're trying to collect these mini lines you only get so few accessories so it's hard to really build a full collection in terms of accessories but I will say this is awesome to include these I like these a lot I like the sculpt and I like that it's bent a little bit so you can put it around somebody's head or arm or something but the rock figure right here is pretty nice I like the head sculpt I like the, the mutton chops or the side chops here and another thing is this is a throwback rock every other figure is pretty much for the most part a modern figure, but he does not have the Brahma Bull tattoo, which I could probably paint on there, get a small decal, which shouldn't be necessary. I think the bare minimum would at least be the Rock tattoo here. Roman Reigns, they could have like even just painted some lines onto his arm, even if it's not fully accurate. Just put a mini bull face right there. Even if, like, I don't think the logo would have been that much, but these, I think these ring up for retail about $7.98, something like that. I think that was the total price, but you do get some graphics here on the trunks. You get the Rock and gold, which I like. You get the bronze. I mean, dude, they already had the logo right there. If they would have made that light gray or dark gray and just slapped it on the arm, I don't know what, the, what that would have been like, but outside of that, he does have his black boots. They, for the most part, are doing a lot of reuse here. Every figure, I think, has the exact same molds. I think John Cena and Roman have a belt on their, on their crotch piece, but I don't know. Maybe they're not. Some of them, you do get some reuse between the line, but in terms of articulation, the head does ar articulate a little bit here. You do get a full, like, ratchet joint that goes 360 here and you get a nice bicep or arm shoulder here which I like I think that's pretty good you don't get a swivel or anything but I think that's pretty good and same thing with the legs the hips move out like so and then you can kind of like rotate it a little bit here so you can articulate this ball joint and then you get kind of like a thigh swivel type deal going on no knee bend no arm bend but they stand up pretty good too I don't have any problems standing these guys up but this figure is pretty cool now for the John Cena we get into the steel trash can or the trash can that is rubber right here, which we've seen from the past from Mattel, but it is a nice metallic blue color, and it's pretty big, as you guys can see here, comparison. You could probably even use this in scale with Elite figures. It does come with the trash can lid as well. You could put guys in there, whatever, and this could work for a, absolutely could work for regular Elite figures, I think. For a mini trash can, it's not as tall as other ones, but that classic WWE trash can is nice. And then for the John Cena figure, you do get the You Can't See Me on the hat. It is that John Deere 2018 style.
style gear, I think it was, or 2019. And he does have the bicep band with the yellow and green armbands. No graphics on there, but he does have the belt sculpted onto the crotch. And again, man, I, I like this. As a big John Cena guy, I like the shorts mold that's sculpted in there. You don't get any different articulation. All of it is pretty much the same, but I like the John Cena. He's got the black shoes. Not a ton of details, but it actually would be fun to take some of these and customize them a little bit or change them up or whatever. I don't think you could... Oh, you get a little waist swivel in there. That's I didn't know these waist swivels. That's loud as hell, but that's pretty cool. I like the, the waist swivel. So, yeah, man, look at that. You get added articulation that I didn't even see. So there is the John Cena figure and the Rock figure. Now, getting into it, we do have our Tribal Chief. And I like this head sculpt. I mean, my man, man can't get a fade or a damn thick beard. Imagine if this minifigure had the faded tapered beard that I've been begging Mattel for. I'd probably vomit in the floor. But he does have his needle mover shirt, which is nice with the graphic. His gauntlet is a bit plain. It's just painted on so you don't get any sculpt work or anything but the gauntlets are there i think in this attire you could have done without the gauntlet but i understood why they did it but another thing is it would be fun to paint in the tattoo i think adding the tattoo there would do a lot for this figure in terms of details but i like the roman the roman figure is probably one of my favorites that we see here i like the boots and everything the tightness on the on the legs i like this this is good and he does have that same tight waist but one thing that's really cool about the roman reigns is his accessories and i love this acknowledge me stand that he comes with which is such a good accessory it looks like a i mean i'm not even gonna lie dude what if you if you pop this off you had to build this out of the packaging what if you did this and then put the undisputed championship right there you're gonna tell me that if you did an office or something and then you sat this in the corner and put the championship on there that wouldn't look sick as hell hold up just a second so you're gonna tell me you come into the office and you don't see this and that's not the sickest damn thing you've ever seen in your entire life that is so badass, in fact. That might be the coolest thing I have in my entire collection. So this little mini dojo kick kendo stick stand is amazing. I like this, and I can even actually hold up now. I can even take it a step further here. So if you see the Roman Reigns, man, I mean, even if you don't want to use this for Roman, you could paint over that Acknowledge Me in black, and then boom, you could use this as a title stand for anything. But I was going to try and clasp it. I don't know if I can clasp it. There we go. I clasped it a little bit. It's not on there very good, but there's a little shot of it. I love that. So the kendo sticks can pop on there, which I think is awesome. But then in in terms of the kendo sticks, you do have this. I'd like to paint the handle white and these little pieces here white. I think the details would really stand out. But you do have a cracked one, and then you get one that is, you know, fully intact. So you get two different options there. And then again, this thing came on here, and you can... It comes with two different levels here that you can plug into the back of this Acknowledge Me stand. And you can uh, put both of the kendo sticks on here and display them in the corner. Which, uh, dude, I love that stand. That stand might be my favorite thing that's in the entire pack. That is so sick. If I see another Roman Reigns, I might buy that just for that title stand. You can make, like, a cool little setup. I don't know. Before our fourth and final figure, we do have Seth Rollins, who does come with a steel chair, which actually has the WWE logo sculpted on it, and it comes with a little impact piece that you can clip onto this little piece here. And then, you know, when you're hitting guys in the skull, it looks like a little cartoon comic book impact spike that looks pretty good. But this chair is pretty decent. I don't like the way it folds, and I don't think they could sit in it even if they wanted to. Uh, you're not, uh, I mean, that's decent. It's not great. It's definitely uh, it's definitely not terrific, and this chair kind of looks a bit navy. It doesn't really even look black, which I guess isn't a thing. I guess it's like off black or something, but the Seth Rollins figure looks good. I think the likeness is nice. The hair sculpt's nice. It's almost like a shrunk down Ultimate Edition version or Elite version there of a head sculpt, but he's pretty jacked. He doesn't have his spine tattoo or anything, but he does have black wrist tape, and then the these flames designs look cool. Very similar to the Fan Takeover Amazon Exclusive Ultimate Edition we're going to be getting this year. But I think this looks cooler, to be honest. I didn't like the pants look. Even if it is accurate and everything, I like these tights. I think this is pretty sweet. So, the Seth Rollins figure is definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite, out of the whole set. But before we wrap up this video and review of these knuckle crunchers, I think it's time to rank this set. Let's rank these figures from my least favorite to my favorite out of all four knuckle crunchers. But consider me pretty damn shocked, and I'm glad that I ordered the mini ring that comes in this set as well. There is a ring, and I don't know if it's retail exclusive, if you can buy it other places. I got mine on Amazon, but it's about 20 bucks. Comes with a Brock Lesnar, a ring, and some other weapons. So I'm definitely going to be a completionist of this line. I like this line. It's very fun. I think they look awesome. And they're just little mini fun figures. But if I had to rank these in order, I think I would go Rock, my least favorite. Not having the tattoo really bums me out. This is tough from the rest of them, but as much as I love John Cena, I think the what's not... 
what I don't like is it doesn't have any different things. If it had sculpted bands, if it had graphics on the bands, if it had different things like that, I think I'd rank him higher. It does have the hat on there, which I like, or even if the shirt was painted on, I think I'd like it more. But I like this as my ranking. I think Roman Reigns comes in at two, and then I like the Rollins the best. I just like these colors a lot. I think that looks awesome. But I really like the Roman two and the man bun with the needle mover shirt. Ooh, if he had his tattoos, he'd easily be number one for me, the Tribal Chief. But I think that is my full ranking and review of these knuckle crunchers, man. Again, I don't know if they're Walmart exclusive or if you can get them other places, like I said. But I did find mine on our toy hunt from the other day. If you guys want to pick up this wave, you can't do so. They are hitting Walmart stores right now. And I think Series 2 is already announced and coming. I think it has Bobby Lashley, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't know who the rest are in the set, but I'm definitely going to be grabbing them. And I'll definitely review them if this video does well. So we'll have to see what comes of all of that. But that is going to wrap the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on these down in the comment section below. Have you grabbed any? Do you like them? Let me know all those things down below, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all you fellas over there. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so very much for all that you guys do. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, man. I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>